In headlines from around the military, the Missile Defense Agency has selected Lockheed Martin as the supplier for its next generation interceptor in a contract worth an estimated $17 billion. The forthcoming interceptor is intended to protect the American homeland from long range ballistic missiles, replacing the existing interceptor in the ground based mid course defense system. Lockheed, along with its Rocketjet Aerodyne partner, beat out a team from Northrop and RTX to advance alone through the critical design phase. The Missile Defense Agency is looking for the new interceptors to be in the ground by the end of 2028. Next up, the Navy and Coast Guard teamed up to rescue three men stranded for more than a week on an uninhabited island in the Pacific. The men had embarked in a 20-foot boat from a small island in the Federated States of Micronesia about 1,800 miles east of the Philippines. They became stranded after they hit a reef and their boat took on water, but U.S. Coast Guard Commander Keith Arnold explained how they were able to spot the men. The help sign was pretty visible. Uh, we could see it from a couple thousand feet up in the air. Uh, we noticed the island first, and then on the first circle, we were able to see the help sign. Uh, we were later able to tell that it was made out of palm fronds, and, uh, and, but that was able to cue us in to, uh, to those being the people that we needed to talk to. The Coast Guard cutter Oliver Henry, homeported in Guam, was later able to pick up the men. They had survived for nine days on the island. Nine days on a deserted island is a long time. They took their outboard motor, which had been damaged, onto their shoulders and were able to get onto the Coast Guard cutter Oliver Henry's small boat and get back onto the ship. The military is expanding universal pre-K to dozens more locations. The Department of Defense Education Activity, which manages schools on U.S. bases worldwide, launched its pre-K option last year with just 65 kids at one location. Now, 79 more schools will be added to the program for the 2024-2025 school year, the agency announced. That leaves 10 installations without the pre-K option, but those will be added over the coming years, pending construction and renovation of classrooms. Once all 90 schools are on board, about 6,000 four-year-olds will be eligible for the program, according to Dodea. A group of critically endangered Mojave Desert tortoises are said to be thriving after being released at Edward Air Force Base in California. The tortoises appear to be healthy following a period of indoor and outdoor rearing prior to the release, local wildlife officials said. It's an exciting day here at Edwards Air Force Base. Our tortoises have gone out into the real world and for all intents and purposes, they have graduated is what we like to say. I'm a biologist at the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens and being able to be with them from step one in our care and seeing them go from such a fragile state to um, being re-released and looking around, sniffing around and knowing exactly what to do and how to be a grown-up tortoise has been pretty exciting and I feel nothing but proud. Scientists will continue to monitor the tortoises for health assessments and track them with radio transmitters to keep an eye on them and study them as they age. We will continue to track them throughout the year, uh, at least once or twice a month. And so we'll understand their movements post-release, what sorts of habitat uh, features that they're selecting for to spend their time uh, resting or foraging in. So we can really learn a lot about the juvenile age class that we can't really understand without uh, releasing them and following them carefully in, the, in, their, in their natural habitat. 